Now, another key character that I want to highlight, and especially when you're thinking about how sadistic people can be and how evil human nature can be, is actually the character of Roger. So whilst he actually doesn't say that much, he is a very important character. And he's interesting because actually he stands in stark contrast to Jack. So whilst we know that Jack can be very power hungry, he r represents the dictator. However, on the one hand, Jack is interested in power and the chase of hunting whilst Roger only is a sadistic and he creates turmoil and pain for the sake and just simply for the pleasure of creating turmoil and pain. There is no other motive, okay? So Jack, on the one hand, wants to amass power. He wants to be a dictator in order to create this power and to benefit himself. Roger, however, all his acts of sadistic torture, um, hurting others, is just for its own sake. And of course, what he symbolizes are the elements of society, the people who still the people who do very wanton acts of violence without any reason. These are who we tend to call in society sociopaths and also psychopaths, okay? Now, the first quotation when it comes to Roger's character, and of course this shows really the darkest side of human nature. This is really somebody who's controlled by his id. And if you're not sure what id is, do check out my video uh, on Sigmund Freud at the tip of the iceberg theory. So the first quotation, which emphasizes this darkness in Roger, is the way he's described. A slight, furtive boy, ellipsis, who kept himself with an inner intensity and avoidance of avoidance and secrecy. Now here, this description of Roger already sets him apart from all the other boys in terms of him being somebody who has something he's hiding. Okay, so all the other boys are euphoric, they're really happy, they're the only children uh, on the island, there's no grown-ups, whilst Roger seems preoccupied with something. And of course, what he's preoccupied with is just this cruelty. He sees things as things to be there to damage, things to use up and toss to the side. Now, the word level analysis you want to do here when it comes to his character is firstly the adjectives, slight, furtive. And what these adjectives do is to create tension. They show that there's something up with this child. And of course, also, it's interesting that what this is showing perhaps is Golding's perspective on characters like psychopaths and sociopaths, these evil people. He maybe perhaps seems to be taking the view that even children can be born inherently evil and psychopathic, which of course is very unstabilizing for us as readers. The other word level analysis to do here is of course alliteration, who and with. Again, this emphasizes just how secretive and how almost scary Roger seems. The final word level analysis for this quotation is assonance of I, an inner intensity and avoidance. Again, this is really emphasizing this furtiveness around Roger. The second quotation to remember for his character is Roger stooped, comma, picked up a stone, comma, aimed, and threw it at Henry, threw it to miss. And what this is showing is he is sadistic. He is doing things to harm others for harm's sake, okay? Henry, this other little young boy, has done nothing to him. He is just harming. He's sadistic, okay? Now, the word level analysis you want to focus on here are the verbs stooped, picked, aimed, through, okay? And this shows he's very measured in his acts of violence. He's very calculated. And this is what makes Roger such a scary character. This is what makes the psychopaths and the sociopaths among us so scary. We don't understand even the motives and they themselves don't understand their motives for acts of cruelty. They can sometimes just be very destructive individuals. And of course, Roger is emphasizing this destruction. And this is further emphasized because he throws this stone to Henry to miss, okay? And this is emphasized through, in terms of word level analysis, the repetition of the verb through, okay? And of course, this again shows he's very calculated. He's calculating his acts of cruelty and he's being selective with how much he wants to hurt other boys. Now, the final quotation with Roger's character is, Roger led the way when he's walking with Morris and this, uh, he's now creating all of this destruction just for no reason, okay? So, Roger, read, Roger led the way, ellipsis, kicking them over, comma, burying the flowers, comma, scattering the chosen stones. And again here, he's just walking around just destroying nature, destroying things, destroying order. And again, this shows just how he's just a very sadistic character. He just enjoys creating chaos and disorder, okay? Now the word level analysis you want to do here is firstly the violent verbs kicking, okay? He's just being really violent. And this is in contrast to the fragile noun flowers. He's being violent towards something that can't even defend itself. He's just destroying, just out of pure sadistic pleasure. The other uh, word level analysis, and arguably this is structure, is a syndeton. This is listing, asyndetic listing, okay? So comma, kick them over, comma, bearing flowers, comma, okay? 
And of course, uh, I even forgot to mention the violent verbs, they're both kicking and burying, okay? And now going back to Cinderton here, what this is showing is just how much enjoyment Roger takes out of just causing all of this destruction. So do bear in mind that Roger is a really interesting character. He's a very fearful character because he's embodying the elements within our society. Thankfully, they're a minority group of people, but they still are there. The elements within our society, people who are born inherently sadistic, inherently to some degree malevolent, and they create chaos and destruction for chaos and destruction's sake. Showing again, and if there's enough of these people and if they have enough influence, they can destroy order and civilization in society. So that's it when it comes to Roger's, to Roger's character and the quotations to remember for his character.